In Hong Kong, when it rains, it pours. The city is one of the wettest in Asia, with average rainfall measuring 2,400 millimetres, or about 94 inches a year. To protect the city from flooding, there is an impressive network of tunnels and reservoirs hidden just beneath the streets. It might not look like it, but we're in Tai Hang at the moment, and this is actually the beginning of Hong Kong's largest drainage tunnel. Hong Kong's West Drainage Tunnel is the newest in a vast underground network. Completed in 2012, this tunnel runs nearly 11 kilometres from Tai Hang to Cyberport. So we're heading really to the end of the line. This is where all of the water on Hong Kong Island will end up. It's where the tunnel meets the ocean. Hong Kong used to be hit with serious flooding during the long typhoon season. In 1995, Hong Kong had 90 flooding black spots throughout the city. Most of these black spots were about 10 hectares or less in size, which is the equivalent of about 14 football fields. But a handful of affected areas were larger than 100 hectares and posed a risk of serious social and economic disruption. It was a big problem that required an even bigger solution. Happy Valley is famous for its race course, but I'm actually here for what lies beneath. Right under the Happy Valley playing fields, you'll find this huge water tank. It can hold up to about 60,000 cubic metres full of water, and that's about 24 swimming pools. The thing that really hits you the moment you walk in is the sheer enormity of this room. When the water tank is full, you'll see this is actually where the water is released back into the drainage system. But you can see over here how high the water actually gets in this tank. In 2017, it got to two metres, so just a little bit taller than I am. But in 2016, it actually was almost double that, uh, but that was before the full tank was in operation. You have to remember that this is a solution to a problem. Happy Valley used to be a swampy marshland, and even in the 2000s, it was flooding. Today, big infrastructure projects like this have eliminated all but one flooding black spot on Hong Kong Island. But across Victoria Harbour, in Kowloon and the New Territories, the problem persists. In Kowloon, the Drainage Services Department focused on constructing tunnels that collect rainwater uphill from the more densely populated lower-lying regions before channelling the water beneath the city and out to sea. So we're now on Kowloon side and we're heading to the Lai Chi Kok drainage tunnel. That's underneath us. On ground level is a dog park and above us is a flyover. So they're really making use of space here. So this is an absolutely massive tunnel. It's the one in Lai Chi Kok. And I have to admit, it's almost quite creepy. It, as you walk back, you go straight into darkness. It kind of just keeps going. There's really no light at the end of this tunnel, <laughs> but it's here to help the people in this area to ensure that there's no flooding. Projects like these are more important than ever, with climate change making extreme weather events in the city, such as typhoons, a more common and dangerous occurrence in the years to come. As the future presents new challenges to keeping Hong Kong dry, even in the wettest weather, new construction will continue, just out of sight and beneath our feet.